Hello, I'm Dennis with Zamanda, and today we're going to talk about how to create a backup set and configure it to the media. Amanda Enterprise, a Zamanda product, uses a key policy concept of backup set. It simplifies and optimizes enterprise-wide backup system with multiple clients protected equally. A backup set is a group of one or more DLEs or disk list entries. A DLE is a combination of clients and their respective partitions like C drive or D drive in Windows or slash var or slash root in Linux, applications, file systems, or subdirectories. The backup set also comprises the backup target, physical tape device, virtual tape, or disk, full or incremental backup, scheduling the backup, and a staging area for tape storage. Backup sets allows an administrator to define a set of backup policies like what, when, where, how to back up each one of the DLEs. For example, we have a server here, and we've already logged into our ZMC, and we've decided we're going to create a new backup set. And to do that, we go to the Admin tab, go to Backup Sets, and select New. And here we can give it a backup set name. We get Test 3, any comments we want to do, and click Add. And now we have a new backup set. Now that we've created our backup set, we need to go to the Backup tab, and we'll add some disk list entries. In this case, we're going to add File Systems Linux, we're going to add the local host, which is 127.0.0.1. We're going to add a couple of directory paths. Let's add home. Let's go ahead and add that. And Zamanda will make sure it can talk to that directory. And it can. And now we've created a new backup set, which is going to back up the home directory on this local host. Now to configure the media. In Zamanda Enterprise, Backup sets are configured for backing up the data. It can be used a broad range of media types like disk, tape, NDMP tape changers, Google Cloud Storage, or Amazon S3. Let's go ahead and go up to the backup devices. So Zavanna Enterprise uses a native archival tool and can back up large number of workstations and servers running various versions of Linux, Unix, Mac OS X, or Microsoft Windows operating systems. We ensure that our customers can always recover their data while making backup simple, secure, and cost-effective. You can select and configure the target device for the backup in admin devices, as we can see here. For our device here, I think we're going to use legacy. In disk device media, ZMC fills in the data in var lib amanda disk by default. You can adjust this path to your server's requirements. In our case, we're going to use mnt slash 4tb amanda. And we'll go ahead and add it. All right, and so that we added that successfully. You could also back up to an Amazon Simple Storage Device, or S3, and here's an example of the information that would be required. You could also make use of a tape changer device. Here we've switched to a system that has a tape changer attached to it. In a tape changer device, a list of tape changers is sensed by the operating system and the ZMC are displayed. When you choose a new changer, the number of drives in the changer and the tape storage slots are also displayed. The device must be readable and writable by a Manda backup user. Tape size must also be specified. And here we have the tape device and the media changer and a second tape device operating at slash dev slash SG4. So we now have covered backing up to disk, Amazon S3, and to tape. Thank you for listening.